Ever notice this? Your FPS looks fine, your temps are good, your GPU isn't maxed out, yet the game still stutters, frame times spike, or your mouse suddenly feels delayed. That's not your hardware failing. That's Windows background scheduling, stealing CPU time mid-game. Windows constantly wakes CPU cores to run services you don't need while gaming. These wake-ups interrupt frame delivery, mess with timing, and create micro-stutters you feel but can't see in FPS counters. Today, we're fixing that properly. No risky de-bloating, no broken Windows features, just targeted changes that stop background services from hijacking your CPU during gameplay. Step 1. Identify background scheduling spikes, the hidden problem. Before touching anything, you need to understand what's happening. Use Latency Mon, Windows Performance Monitor optional. What you're looking for, random DPC or ISR spikes, CPU cores waking up during gameplay, spikes tied to system services, not the game. These interruptions don't always tank FPS, they break frame time consistency, which is why gameplay feels choppy even at high FPS. Once you see this behavior, you'll understand why FPS optimization alone doesn't fix it. Step 2. Disable services that wake CPU cores mid-game. In this step, we target Windows background services that quietly interrupt your CPU during gameplay. These services don't always reduce average FPS, but they do cause frame time spikes, input delay, and random stutter by waking CPU cores at the worst possible moments. Open the Services panel. Press Win plus R, type services.msc, press Enter. This opens the Windows Services Manager, where background tasks are controlled. Disable SysMain or SuperFetch. Find SysMain in the list. Double-click it and set Startup Type to Disabled. Click Stop, then Apply. Why this matters? SysMain constantly preloads and reorders data in memory. During gaming, this causes unnecessary CPU wake-ups and background disk access, which can interrupt smooth frame delivery. Disable Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. Locate Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. Double-click and set Startup Type to Disabled. Click Stop, then Apply. Why this matters? This service sends usage data in the background. It causes periodic CPU scheduling interruptions and occasional disk writes, which can translate into micro-stutter during gameplay. Windows Search, optional but recommended for gaming PCs. Find Windows Search. If you don't constantly use Windows Search while gaming, set Startup Type to Manual or Disabled. Click Stop, then Apply. Why this helps? Windows Search performs indexing tasks that can activate mid-session, especially after updates or file changes. Disabling it prevents unexpected CPU and storage activity while gaming. Disable Program Compatibility Assistance Service. Locate Program Compatibility Assistance Service. Double-click and set Startup Type to Disabled. Click Stop, then Apply. Why this matters? This service scans applications when they launch or behave unexpectedly. For games, this adds unnecessary background checks and CPU interruptions. Step 3. Stop timer resolution abuse. Major frame time fix. In this step, we address one of the most overlooked causes of micro stutter and inconsistent frame pacing, timer resolution abuse. Windows and many background services constantly request high resolution timers. This forces the CPU to wake up far more often than necessary, creating uneven frame times, jitter, and subtle input lag during gaming. Our goal here is to lock down timer behavior so only what truly matters, your game, controls CPU timing. Press Win R, type RegEdit. Navigate to this path. In the right pane, 
create or modify a DWORD 32-bit value named Global Timer Resolution Requests. Set its value to zero. What this does? It prevents background services and apps from forcing the system into high-resolution timer mode. Your system stops bouncing between timer states while you're gaming. Command Prompt Fix – Disable Dynamic Tick Now we prevent windows from constantly adjusting tick frequency. Open Command Prompt as Administrator and run bcde.exe slash set dynamic tick yes. What this achieves? Prevents windows from constantly adjusting tick frequency, reduces idle to active CPU transitions, stabilizes scheduling intervals during gameplay. Step 4. Fix Windows Scheduling Bias – Foreground Priority By default, Windows tries to be fair to everything running on your system. That includes background services, telemetry, audio tasks, and UI processes, even while you're gaming. For competitive or performance-focused gaming, this behavior is not ideal. We want Windows to aggressively favor the active game and reduce interruptions during frame rendering. Adjust Foreground Application Priority Open RegEdit and navigate to this path. Create or modify the following DWORD 32-bit value. Win32 Priority Separation equals 26 decimal. What this does? Prioritizes foreground applications over background tasks, shortens time slices for background processes, reduces CPU preemption during active frames, reduce background multimedia interference. Next, navigate to this path. Set the following value. System responsiveness equals zero. Why this matters? Windows normally reserves CPU time for multimedia services, audio, video, system effects. Setting this to zero tells Windows not to hold CPU resources back while a foreground app is active. Lock game threads to high priority. Now open this path. Set or modify these values. Scheduling category is high. Priority is 6. GPU priority is 8. What these values enforce? Game threads receive higher CPU scheduling priority. GPU command submission is favored over background tasks. Frame delivery becomes more consistent under load. Step 5. Stop scheduled tasks from interrupting gameplay. Even after disabling background services, Windows can still interrupt gameplay through scheduled tasks that run silently in the background. These tasks may activate during a gaming session, causing brief CPU wake-ups, disk access, or system checks that lead to micro-stutters. This step ensures Windows doesn't perform maintenance tasks while you're playing. Disable Performance Interrupting Scheduled Tasks. Open Command Prompt as Administrator, then run the following commands one by one. What these tasks normally do. WinSat runs system performance assessments that wake CPU cores and access storage. Program Data Updater scans installed applications and writes telemetry data to disk. Consolidator collects and uploads usage statistics triggering background CPU and I.O. activity. None of these are needed on a dedicated gaming system. After disabling these tasks, Windows will be far less likely to interrupt gameplay with background maintenance. For best results, restart your PC before your next gaming session to ensure the changes are fully applied. You just fixed one of the most overlooked causes of stutter on Windows. Your CPU is no longer being pulled away mid-frame by background services that don't belong in a gaming session. If this helped, leave a like, drop a comment with your before and after results, and subscribe for more deep system-level optimization guides. I'll see you in the next one.